Hey friends, welcome back to Working Out of These Homestead. It has been a while since we've talked about all we have going on here on the homestead. So I thought I'd just bring you along while we work on a couple small projects today. So one of the biggest things is here in two weeks, we are actually going to put our last two Cooney Cooney pigs in the freezer. We're really excited about this. It kind of opens up a new chapter here on the homestead. We've had a great run with pigs for the last three and a half years, but it is just time to go ahead and transition out of them. So we're gonna be putting our boar Jet and our burrow Crispy in the freezer. And we're super thankful to our friend Lynn and her family allowing us to bring our pigs there and butcher them just because they have a much better setup there than what we do here on the homestead. Um, but today we are moving the rabbit hutches out of the barn to kind of winterize our barn and prepare it for this fall and winter as we will put our sheep and goat in a deep bedding system in the barn. So let's go work on that today. Another big thing here on the homestead is the garden expansion. Now we did expand the garden by eight more beds um, with the plan to expand even further, which is why we have those silage tarps down. But for right now in this season of life, we decided to just go ahead and maintain the ones that we already started. And then we do have the high tunnel where we have all of our seedlings getting started for fall. Uh, but right now we've got some green beans, couple rows of tomatoes, corn that was planted late, so it got a little stunted. Um, and then we also have some more green beans and some more tomatoes. So this will be our last hurrah of the summer crops here, and then we'll transfer this over into fall and winter here in just a month or two, honestly. Come on, Ray. All right, so we're here in the barn. We're gonna move out the rabbit hutches. You'll notice they're empty because we've already moved the rabbits. But it was just time to go ahead and come in here and clean out the barn anyways and really prep it for fall. That was one of the biggest takeaways from last year is we did not prep the barn or getting enough hay um, in a more timely manner. And so the winter time seemed a lot more expensive than it probably could have been if we had planned ahead more. We're gonna go ahead and take these hutches out. They've served us well for the last few years having rabbits, but it's time for them to go. Uh, we actually upgraded to some uh, all aluminum cages that I'll show you guys here in a minute. Um, but we'll move these out so that we can get them burned and then we can start winterizing the barn. So the plan here with the barn, once we get everything moved out, is we're going to take the, um, we're gonna take the thick, like, garbage bag rolls that you can get at, like, Lowe's or Home Depot, and we're actually going to put it up so that it can help the barn be a little bit more waterproof. And then on this half of the barn, we're actually going to put pallets down on the ground and stack hay over here since we have the stalls over here. And then we're also going to clean out the stalls and really prep them to keep the livestock in this winter. Let me get these things out of here. We'll probably have to dump that water thing, but it's fine. We're going to take it over there. Mm -hmm. And then we need to get I've got the chain, so we need to get the Suburban over here mm -hmm. just to pull it. We'll pull it as best we can out the door. And once we get it out in the light, we can kind of look at it. So um, you're not saving any of this stuff, right? No, I don't think so. Okay, so if it gets destroyed. Just the feeders. If it gets destroyed, it's not a big deal. No. Okay. 
And then we'll just unscrew this and get the pallets down and we'll go from there, okay? Okay. Okay, that's good to work. All right, one down, one to go. So I had Josh bring Oliver out because we had some fun little mice friends over here. So he already took care of one, the boy. Now we're getting ready to pull this one out. Come on, out guys, go. Good job. So while Josh is creating a space to put the to put the chain through, um, I just wanted to talk about why we are really okay with getting rid of these hutches. Yes, they could definitely be cleaned up and continue their use, but we actually made these hutches with the cabinets that we took out of our house when we first moved in four years ago. And this was cheap uh, hardware cloth that we picked up for free uh, that was already a little rusty. And so we are really okay with going ahead and getting rid of this. On to bigger, better things. Ta-da! Now we can clean it out in Oliver's hunting. Great job, Finn. You did nothing. Excuse me, ma'am. Did you enjoy the show? You did? How was it? Was it fun? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dada and Mama. Mm -hmm. Another part of the homestead that I wanted to share with you guys <laughs> that I had filmed a garden video for the month of July. I just did not get it edited and then August went by and then here we are in mid-September and the garden looks very different than it did in the video from July so we went ahead pulled out we had two rows of tomatoes here Josh planted some more sunflowers and some more green beans then we have peppers eggplants more peppers and okra uh, in the next few rows and our eggplant is finally coming in. I'm really excited about it. So we've got some nice beauties in there. So I'm excited to try some different eggplant dishes. I'm gonna come back into the shade. It's a little warm. Not hot today, but just warm. <laughs> but we'll come back in the evening. So see you in just a moment. All right, we're back. Much cooler out this evening now. It's almost six o'clock. Josh took Scout to go run some errands, but I wanted to show you some more of the garden. So we, like I said, we've got peppers and eggplant here. Our okra, again, is still growing. It's crazy. And just today, Josh did some direct sowing here in these rows. He's got some peas and carrots working uh, which is really exciting I know 
us included and I'm sure you as well you're looking forward to some cooler temperatures that only fall can bring this is the messy part of the garden um, we've got our peanuts still growing in here with our popcorn this is our very weedy hedgerow but we're super excited about it because Josh planted several starts of hibiscus, roselle, and he finally is getting some buds on here. And those beautiful little hibiscus buds. So this is roselle. This is what you would make the hibiscus tea with. So it's growing in here amongst all the grasses and weeds here in the garden. And then I've been harvesting my mint and our elderberry bush that I planted here is coming back in. So that's really good to see. I was so excited. The other day I went ahead and harvested all of the berries off of my one elderberry bush that was doing really well. I harvested a half gallon of berries guys and I'm so so excited. I already put a batch and dried it out so that I can make tea or syrup with it. I haven't done anything with it other than put it in a jar for future use but I'm so excited that I got a whole half gallon off of one plant. That plant we planted uh, last year and it basically just died and so I was really excited to see it come back this year and of course give me lots of berries which was awesome. Uh, so over here we've got our little food forest. Our um, sweet potato ground cover has worked really well. However, it's been attacked by quite a few pests. So, but we also have our lovely elephant ears growing, looking beautiful in front of our house there. Uh, so we went ahead and pulled these rows out and we put them to bed for the fall. Uh, we've had a huge issue with grass taking over this area. And so we laid down some landscape fabric. We're going to kind of reevaluate what we're doing. We might do landscape fabric with just holes in it for our fall season. Um, it just really depends how this is looking after being covered for a few weeks. So we still just need to reevaluate that. This is our section where our chicken and dumpling peas went crazy and took over three rows when they were planted in one. And this is a great bean to have or a pea to have for dry storage. So we're just letting it live its best life, taking over these three rows. And then we will wait until everything has dried out and we'll go ahead and pick those peas and put them in the pantry, um, which is exciting, but my goodness, they just took over the corn, which is nuts. Uh, Josh went ahead, pulled the last green beans out from here and covered this row. And then we have squash and we have some tomatoes that are just kind of hanging on by a thread over here. But we have our greenhouse over in this section. We have a butterfly bush. And then this is actually new. And we had bought this tarp, honestly, to be a shade cloth for this area. But it doesn't quite fit the area. And by the time we realized it, it was too late to return it. So this is my rabbit hutch area so i've got onyx in here breeding ruby for a nice litter next month hey boy so they aren't usually happen around this much but we have some new girls in here this is hershey and emerald we got them from our friends over at the Homemade Haven Homestead. Sweet, sweet girls. And this is Mr. O'Malley, my other buck. 
So we've got them in here. We've got some shade cloth. This red is pulled up during the morning and then I put it down in the afternoon. Oh, hey guys. How's it going? They're coming over because they think I have snacks. I don't. So they're back here working on weed control. What's up, my friends? So this is Martin Jr. And Sinatra is there and Miss Zara. Here in just a little bit, I'm actually going to pull Zara out and work rogue. Uh, with my sheep so we need to keep sharp on our herding practices and just keep working because practice makes perfect and we can't get better if we don't do anything so work work it is <laughs> um, but honestly on the homestead a not whole lot has changed big picture wise um, of course I say that but the last time you were here on the homestead was back in July so since July I unfortunately lost our ditch goat August um, I'm not sure exactly what happened we have a lot of ill-natured people in this area um, who throw things in our ditch and unfortunately that was a risk that we were taking by having August in the ditch um, he had done really well there for about a year and so it was really frustrating that that happened but it's where it is what it is there's a plan for everything so we lost him and we added some new rabbits. We have our sheep and goat. We're getting rid of the pigs. Um, and then we do have three flocks of chickens that we're gonna be combining here in the next month or so, which is really exciting. I need all my chickens to be in one spot. So we've got a tractor over here. The turkeys are gonna go to the freezer. So that'll be good. We're gonna just go ahead and, gr and do ground with that. Um, <laughs> the herb garden needs a lot of work. Whew. That breeze feels so good. You have no idea. So, and then I have my main flock over here and way over there in the front paddock <laughs> is my young flock. What's up, Mama? Hi, Mama Ray. So, we are out here on a walk. Because <laughs> this little lady's in labor. So, early stages. But you'll notice how her top line has dropped. I know. I know, Mama. Are you so ready? So ready to get those babies. Are you ready to get those babies out? Mm. Yeah. My sweet girl. Mama Ray. So, here you can kind of tell. Now we can see her ribs a little better where the baby weight has dropped and her hips are sticking out here. Hard to tell because of her coat, but she had all of the baby weight up on top so you couldn't see the side here like you can now. So we're getting closer. Yeah. But we're so excited we're getting ready for Homesteaders of America Conference going to be the second weekend in October, the 13th and 14th. So we're going to be doing some herding demonstrations as well as talking about homesteading with a budget and teaching a kid class on entrepreneurship for kids. So it should be a 
fun and busy time, but we're really excited to also have a vendor booth there. Um, I'm really excited to talk more about our puppies and our breeding program and talk more about herding on the homestead. So it should be a should be a good good time, but anywho, thought I'd update you all and give you a little mini tour on the property. It's a beautiful evening in mid-September. Thanks for watching. See you next time.